Hello there. Instruments are quite something, huh? People make amazing music pieces with them, but from all the instruments I've tried, there's some problem with all of them. Violins, drums, guitars, tubas, you name it. And that is what I'm talking about this time. One section of this video is me talking about the instruments I've tried. The other section is my friend Hunter talking about the instruments he's tried. So grab some popcorn and drinks and enjoy the show. This is a fillet of fish sandwich. This is Arby's crispy fish sandwich. And this is Arby's fish and cheddar sandwich. Ours are two for six. There's his oops, there it goes, who cares anyway. Abby's, we are out of stock of the meats. The, uh, the first instruments I will talk about are violins. Violins aren't too bad. But, as I said, I will talk about problems with them. So, the problem with violins are, they hurt your arms. Just the position you hold them in with the bow is terrible. Not that kind of bow! This bow! I'm astounded that people can play these easily standing up. Next is bucket drumming. The problem with this are the drumsticks are confusing to hold. And they hurt your wrists. Now there's recorder. This is good. I like it. But is it easy to learn? No! I, I agree. Recorders are obviously hard to learn. But I have one more instrument. A piano. This is because there are way too many keys. What is there, like 107? Oh wait, there's only 88. 52 white keys and 36 black ones. That's all I have to say. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Well, that was interesting. But wait, there's more. This video is not just me and Hunter saying what we hate about certain instruments. We, I, will talk about other instruments. Not ones I've played. First, the oboe. What is this abomination? I don't know what's happening here. What are those goldish thingies? There has to be like a million. It looks like a flu got possessed by a robot. Now we shall talk of the one and only French what the junk is this? It looks like a Rube Goldberg machine was infused with a trumpet. It just looks a little bit extra. Also, it's hecking heavy! 18 pounds? Why does it need to be that heavy? Just why? It sounds like a depressed trumpet. Next, we will talk about bagpipes. They exist. They sound loud? All I think about when I, when I hear them is Scotland. Um, so remember how we just talked about the French horn and how heavy it is? Well, meet the accordion. 30 pounds. All for the sound of an organ on drugs. The only good thing about accordions is that Doug from Learning Mutual plays the accordion. The next thing we're going to discuss are automatons. The only thing to talk about of these is my friend Aiden Games has one. Check his channel out. Another thing we should talk about are violas. All I can say about them is that they're just rip-off violins. They sound exactly the same and I can't see a difference. According to Google, the, vi the viola is bigger by one inch. So I don't see a point of them being different instruments. Just call them the Violin and Violin S Max Pro XL. And if they were made by Nintendo, they would call it the new Super Violin Ultra 2 Electric Boogaloo 3D XL 4K. On the topic of similar instruments, let's talk about the harp. You might be saying, Bean, in no way are the violin and the viola similar to a harp. And I agree, but... Oh, our symphony.org disagrees. The only similarity between the two they know 
is that they belong to the same musical family. Okay? That doesn't make them similar, though. On the top of the string family, let's talk about cellos. Not just any cello, no. The cello horn. You probably don't know what it is. I'm not able to find much information on it as it is extremely rare, luckily enough. I was able to find one video demonstrating its sound and it sounds exactly how you think it would. Just a horn and a cello playing the same notes at the same time. It seems to have originated in 1936 from northern Italy. So, do that do with that info if you will. After I came across the cello horn, I looked up an article on the 13 weirdest instruments, which had 15 instruments. Don't know what that's about. There were such instruments as the cross stranger kangaroo pouch tone tool and cheese drum. But after doing some more research on both of them, it seems like that they were solely exist as an instrument with like three in circulation. So I don't really think they're worth talking about. And that goes for most of the instruments on that article. But I will make one exception to that rule. The Badgerman. I mean, look at this image. Like, what the boop? Just, just, why? And looking at all the images of it on Google, there seems to be exactly three of them. In that sound, that sound it produces, it gives me nightmares. It sounds like a badger went on drugs, started wailing, but was also playing a flute. Like, what? Okay, back to regular instruments. Well, regular instruments with weird names. Let's start with the piccolo violino. So, the name sounds like someone tried to say piccolo violin, but added O's to make it sound Latin as you. From what I can tell, it's literally just a small violin. So, once again, why does this need to be its own instrument? Just call it the Violin Mini XS. At this point, I'm just listing obscure instruments and talking about them, so I'm going to keep doing that. To find more obscure instruments, I looked up a list of all the instruments in the world and found a Wikipedia article. But as soon as I looked at it, I knew it was not complete. You might say, Bean, how could you know it did not have all the instruments? Because the cello horn was not featured. But anyways, I accepted that this crowdsourced free article didn't have all the answers in the world and and didn't have all the instruments that ever existed in the world. So I was looking through the list and saw an instrument called the zither. It had a funny name, so I looked into it. From what I can tell, the zither is basically a harp, but the strings are in front of the wood, not inside a ring of it. But then I looked at the people also ask, and there was this one question. What is the difference between a... Dulcimer and a zither. I had found a rabbit hole and had jumped head first into it. I decided that I needed to A. Figure out what the, what a dul- dulcimer is and B. Find out why it is similar to a zither. A dulcimer looks like you took a guitar and smashed it until it was very thin. I did some more digging and found that the dulcimer was in the zither family. Okay, I've got a lead. The dulcimer seemed fairly popular with many in circulation. That was A finished. Now for B. My best guess for why people are comparing it to a zither was it was in the zither family and thus similar. Oh, by the way, on that article I mentioned a bit ago, there was also other weird instruments like the hyperbass flute and the great stalus pipe organ. But to find about those instruments, you're going to have to look into them yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye!